Hey everybody and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program RP0. We are back in the VAB. Um, you may recognize this as the new probe that is headed to Jupiter. I am going to make some small changes to it and uh, try to launch another one that is not intended to go into orbit but is intend instead intended to slingshot past and uh, go to points beyond. Uh, I did do some further testing with this little guy um, off camera, just a simulation launch to verify that all the systems work and everything checks out. But I'm going to be completely overhauling it, probably reducing the science payload just a bit. Actually, no, you know what? I'm not going to be reducing the science payload. I am, however, going to be changing out that dish. Uh, not Pioneer, that's what I want. The Voyager antenna, which cost us 20 grand to unlock. And actually, oh, no. And we, yeah. Boink. And we're above our tonnage by quite a bit. Uh, that's really cool looking. Although, awkward on such a tiny, tiny spacecraft. <laughs> Alright, so we're going to get rid of the biological sample. That does almost nothing for our tonnage. And due to balance then, we're... Oh man, balance. All of these instrumentation here was set to offset this thing. So we're going to have to space some things out because we're getting rid of that too. Um, as useful as it might be. But now we have five instruments that we have to spread out symmetrically as we can. So we'll, we're going to have to leave two of them on one arm. Oh wait, we've got this thing. That offsets something. So uh, it doesn't do me a whole lot of good. No, it just means we put two on the arm opposite. Gotcha. I am learning my maths. So uh, I was really hoping this would be a very quick VAB interlude, and then we can get back to launching stuff into space. Yeah, no, yeah, that is what I want to do. Alright, and I shouldn't have to adjust my action groups, although they don't really do you a whole lot of good with the signal delay anyway. Um, and I am under the assumption that the two RTGs will be more than enough. Uh, da -da -da -da. Now, I can add more fuel because I'm below my weight limit. Nope, that's not what I want to look at. I'm at 0.578. I can be at 0.6. So that's full, fine. Um, I guess we can increase the diameter and the length of these just a bit. Yep, and there's our warning. So we can take that. Can we? Nope. Okay. Looks like 317 by 314 puts us at 0.599. That's about as far as I am willing to push it. Uh, do I need to adjust anything? Nope. We're, uh, we're still looking pretty good. Make sure those tanks are locked good. And yeah, might as well go ahead and lock these tanks also. Actually, I want to see what my total delta V numbers are looking like. Yeah, 585, eight, almost a kilometer per second in this little guy. That is not too shabby, all things considered. So, all right, and then we're going to just uh, strap it back to the exact same launch vehicle. Double check that our staging is okay. Uh, it looks good. And, hmm, you know, I really could increase the delta via this stage. just to give us a little more oomph, but I don't think I want to because those solar panels are going to not be very effective. So if we haven't ditched them by the time we get to Jupiter, it's going to be overall a drain on everything. All right, and so we can get rid of that. And yeah, that'll probably go before we get into our second stage. And we need to rename it. This is not the Jupiter 3. It's going to be the... Uh, Uh, deeps 
base observation probe. <laughs> Again, please God suggest names. I can change them before we get to launch time. And um, if anyone has any suggestions or better acronyms, I am all open to hearing them. So please leave some suggestions in the comments below. And we're going to go ahead and add two of these to our build list. I did have to go in and double check uh, using MechJeb to make sure that what Kerbal Alarm Clock was telling us was actually accurate. I was not convinced that we would have another Jupiter window. So close. We're 60 days away from it right now. I've got our first JOSM B1 rolling out to the pad. The second one is finishing up its construction. Let's take a look at that. Uh, yeah, it, it will be done in 37 days. We need to roll this up and rush build the crap out of it. Uh, 71 days on a good day. Uh, all right, 152. We're just going to go ahead and spend lots of money because this is going to be fun. I'm quite looking forward to it. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, 40.5%. The total build time on it shouldn't be much more than these Jupiter 3s. 60 days. So if that's going to take 37, I need this to take less than 40. Rush it again and move you up to the top. We have another Griffin A2 being built. It is improved and we will be using it to go back to the moon. We couldn't let those missions uh, not happen because that was intense and fun and I really enjoyed it. So... Let's go uh, warp to complete on this little guy. We're going to be doing a lot of warp to complete here and double checking to make sure that our build times are within our launch window. We're probably I would like to start launching probably about five days before the window. So I can do one launch five days uh, before, one day, one launch at, and one launch five days after. I'm going to space them out. I would like to do a JOSM and then I would like to do a DOSP. Uh, spaced in those nice intervals. Awesome. That'll be done in 18 days. Perfect. Alright, so, ooh, we get mature solids in 9 days. I'm wondering if 2 weeks is a little too soon to launch. Now that'll be done in 8 days. So we'll just warp to complete in that and then we'll start uh, st some launches, man. A cluster of three launches is quite ambitious for me. I've never done so many with one particular target all at once. I hope you guys don't get bored with saying, yeah, we're launching for Jupiter. We're launching for Jupiter. We're launching for Jupiter. Over and over and over again. Okay, five days. Stop warp. Four days. Jupiter JOS, JOSMB1 launch. Awesome. All right. We, oh wait, do we? No, we don't need a maneuver planner. We need a rendezvous planner because we need to be in line with the moon. All right, uh, maneuver planner. No, it's not what I want. Rendezvous planner. I just talked about that, didn't I? All right, and so we're just going to time warp until it is at a respectable relative inclination. Uh, why is time warp slowing down? What did I do? Yeah, I'm just. So you know I didn't screw anything up. This is the uh, S4B stage. Oh, well, that, that's nice. Thank you for interrupting my time warp to let me know that my rocket that was about to be completed is now completed. Doop, doop, do. All right. Let's not screw up this. Two, one, come out of time warp, 0.52. We can get that down a little closer. Yeah, all right, 0.28, not too bad. Oh, that was a cool little zip to the clouds. All right, throttle up, SAS on, mech jump tucked away, ignition. Ignition sequence, good. Clamps are away and we're crawling, but we're moving. Right, yeah, another uh, RA-9. I guess it's going to be the RA-9, like, C or D at this point. So we've uh, increased the capacity on this upper stage. We've tinkered with the hydrolocks, the RL-10 engines, and the control thrusters. 
Uh, this is a damn versatile rocket. I... <laughs> I hate to be just reusing the exact same launch vehicle every time, but this thing has just proven itself to be absolutely amazing. I'm very, uh, very happy and very proud of this thing. I hope you guys like it too. But, uh, we'll probably be building something with a little more lift capacity in the coming episodes. Start to put some heavier stuff in orbit and maybe to places beyond. We'll see. But anyway, uh, we're going to probably speed up some of this launch footage in post. That was kind of cool, creeping through the clouds. Very awesome. Anyway, I will see all of you in orbit. All right, it's not very circular, but it's an orbit, 365 by 147. It's all in space, and that's what we're looking for, and we got lots of Delta V left. Yeah, look at that. 4,600 in this stage alone. Time to plot for the fun stuff. Come on. All right, KSP kind of hiccuped on me, set his target. Ah. God. No, I don't want ascent guidance. I want maneuver planner. Create node. And that was telling us at the next window. It's telling me five days. 6200. So let's say as soon as possible. Using this mode voids your warranty. Estimated burn time 15 minutes. Eh, 6300. That is not that bad. Honestly, I think I will take that. And that looks like it's a kind of an over the top, very loose orbit. Um, let's zoom in. I'm going to adjust this node for next orbit. Give me a little time to tinker with it. Yeah. Alright. Oh no. If we wait in orbit, we will hit the moon. Uh, okay. Hold on. I want to check something. I've never checked this before. Focus view. No, this will not show me my flyby. Uh, and I really need to do something about Jupiter's clouds. Ah, uh, alright. Fine. Whoa, 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 whoa. More orbit? Good. Nope, we missed the moon. Or we still hit the moon. Another orbit? Uh, okay. There we go. One day, 13 hours. I don't think we can afford to do that. Uh, all of our hydrogen will have burned off by then, so we're going to have to go for this one like right now. That's an interesting proposition, isn't it? No target. Target Earth. Thank you very much. I don't think it's actually going to take 15 minutes to do that. We'll probably start uh, 8 minutes before node. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right. All right. Oh, we're seven. You know, whichever. Start our ullage. Risky, risky, stable. Ignition. Oh, thank God they both lit. 
All right, and long burn times. I am probably going to just uh, speed this little guy up in post, so I guess I can turn stability control back on. No, I can't turn stability control back on because I don't have a connection. Man, lucky me, I had just enough connection to light these engines and that's it. Hopefully by the time our hydrolock stage burns out, we will have connection again. Anyway, uh, I'll see you guys as soon as this burn is out. Enjoy. Alright, the AJ-10 is lit, and this is our entire package destined for Jupiter, although only this part, hopefully, will be uh, completing its orbit. I guess uh, I don't really want to unlock these tanks yet. How much Delta V does just that core tank give me, though? Not nearly enough. Dang it. Here's a better method. Although it's probably going to want to drain that center tank last, so really I've just helped unbalance everything. Interesting. <laughs> wonder if that will fuel all the lateral tanks equally or if there's enough there to fuel them since they're all being pulled from at the same time or maybe I should be paying attention to how much of this burn I have left Yeah, now still a great imbalance amongst the tanks. That is a problem. And I should have just unlocked the all the lateral tanks before decoupling instead of just the center. Damn it. Oh well. All right. 740 left on this and obviously there will be a multitude of correction burns. Huzzah! Okay, 3.9 meters per second off. Uh, I am not going to bother correcting that currently because there's going to be correction burns, but we will get to all of that in a future episode, probably uh, along with another launch. So until then, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I do appreciate it, and I will see you all tomorrow. Have a good one.